Say hi, everybody. Say hi, Tristan. Look at the camera. Hi. He's not even in the frame. Scoot over, baby. Uh. Hey, guys. Hi, guys. Anyway, um, hi, Baby Beaver Bunch. Hi, my personal channel. And my personal channel. Um, <laughs> we're doing a one shot, one kill thing here because, uh, it's really difficult a lot of time to do personal videos, especially with him being mobile now. The topic is finding your own identity, fashion, identity, style, identity. And being gay. Yeah, and being gay. And uh, the second part about it is part B, the myth, or well, debunking debunking the myth that you have to date your own or opposite of your own kind i.e. femmes with studs and butches and whatever you call yourself masculine with feminine only that is such a Ow, myth baby, you burnt me you're a nurse get over it <laughs> in the end we all look the same when the time comes down to it so uh uh that's a myth um the way I found my style um, I basically am a jeans and a t-shirt kind of person. I don't, <laughs> I don't have a style. I decided to cut my hair off because I wanted to try something new, not because I wanted to look more gay. Um, I mean... You can't look gay. Okay, I'm sorry. People still look at her and say she should be with a big dude. Ew. Ew. <laughs> People look at me... Case in point, I had a job interview and I wore this skirt. Yes, I do have skirts because I am a girl when it comes down to it. And I was wearing my Jessica Simpson leather boots. And this old man nearly broke his neck and ran in a Jackie looking at me. And I'm just like, yeah, no. It was cool. So, I developed my style over a series of years. And tell them how many phases you went through. Because you went through a lot of phases. I went through yourself. so many phases. I went through like an Asian phase, a goth phase, a punk phase, a rockabilly phase, a country western phase, a 50s, like 60s, 70s, 80s. I went through phases based off of stuff I saw that I wanted to try. And then there was a phase when I was just androgynous all day, where people didn't know what I was. And then I went through this I like androgyny. Phase. Me too, but you know, I'm not there now. Now I'm like, I'll do whatever I want because I lived in California and as long as you've got the guts to go through it, what you want to do style wise and the ability and you research, you don't just put stuff together willy nilly and you stick with something and you claim it as your own, you're good. Yeah. You should do that. Dress like how you feel. The second part of this video is should lesbians with the same hairstyle technically date each other? Well, I can say my ex, my last actual committed ex before Jackie, me and her both had short hair. She was feminine. Well, she was feminine. But, you know, I didn't know I liked short hair girls. It's possible for femmes to date femmes. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with butch femme relationships. Um, it's possible for, for masculine types to date masculine types because I've been in relationships at, well, I started out as a femme and I was in relationships with femmes and masculine types. I love my femmes. Even as a masculine type, I've dated other masculine types. Hey, Teresa, how you doing? But, um, yeah, like... Can you not shout out to your exes here, please? Thank you. We we went through an explorative... Hi, thing. Heather, how you doing? Is that the one you have all those pictures up on your laptop? Yeah. You've never seen what Teresa looks like. <laughs> this is why we fight right right here. Because, like, she has a shrine to her ex-girlfriends. It's not a shrine! On it's her laptop. It's not a shrine. Okay. I've deleted all pictures of my exes from her site and my personal memories. files. It's memories. It's memories. That's what your brain's for, sweetie. Me and Heather are cool. In the end, when it really counts, we all look the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> you like who you like. It doesn't matter what they look like. Mm -hmm. Don't let what they wear, like, really stop you from exploring something beautiful and physical in nature. Because believe me. I'm having sex with you. God. I'm a Scorpio. Um, <laughs> Is that it? Are we done? No, no, because I got to update Signing for my, off. my personal channel. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys. I'm, I'm in this too. Okay, fine. God. Okay, yeah. Well, I just want to say that, you know, I said I'd make a video. It's been kind of rough because, um, you know, Tristan is mobile now. And as a single mother, you know. Oh, this is my girlfriend, Jackie. 
yeah. Um, as a single mother, you know, you're going through all sorts of stuff. Fall semester's starting. I, I'm trying to get a job now. You know, it's just all these things are coming into play. So, Tristan's doing great. We've been to the beach. He's over there making noise now. You guys want to see him? Okay, hold on. Yeah. He's, sick. he's sick right now, so he's like leaking everything. No TV. No. <clears throat> Say hi, Tristan. He's officially eight months now. See, I'm a big boy. Look at the camera. Big guy. Uh, and you just burp? Uh, and he's leaking stuff out of his face. Yeah, we're going to end this video, like, now. So, say goodbye, Tristan. Say bye-bye. Say bye. See you guys later. Have bye -bye. a good week. Later. Later. <laughs> bye.